Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian Y and welcome to Econometrics. In this video, I'm going to do a simple demonstration of using control and proxy variables in a regression. I've got the wage2 data set from Wooldridge loaded up, and we are going to start with a simple regression of wage on education, our basic Mincer equation. Remember that our Gauss-Markov assumptions tell us that the error term in this regression model cannot have any correlation with education. That's probably not true. You could think of a million different factors that influence wage that are also correlated with education. And that's going to give us an omitted variable problem. I want to consider two different possible omitted variables in this video. First of those is work experience. If we want to think about the sign of the bias due to leaving work experience out of this regression, we need to think about the correlations between experience and wage. That's probably positive. People who have more work experience probably get paid more. And then we need to think about the correlation between education and experience. If you think a little bit about that, people with more education are going to, on average, have a little bit less work experience because they have spent time in school rather than working. And so that's a negative correlation. If we put the two of those together, a positive times a negative is going to be a negative bias due to leaving experience out of the regression. So if we have a negative bias and we add experience into our model, what do we expect to happen? Well, we are going to eliminate a negative bias. And so when we run the regression, our estimate for the education coefficient is going to go up. We have eliminated a negative, and so it goes up. Now that we've got that figured out, let's think about another omitted variable, ability. We can go through the same process to think through the sign of the bias. What is the correlation between wage and ability? Well, people who are high ability are probably going to be able to compete for better jobs and compete for promotions and make a higher wage, so positive correlation. Next, what is the correlation between education and ability? People with high ability are more likely to get into college, be successful in college and graduate with a higher level of education, and maybe even go on to a professional or graduate degree. Remember that this does not have to be true for every person, it just has to be true on average. There is a positive correlation between education and ability. Since ability is positively correlated with both wage and education, positive times a positive is going to give us a positive bias. Meaning that if we were able to add ability into the regression, we would expect our coefficient estimate next to education to go back down again. Now the problem with that is, we don't have a way to measure ability. Ability is not a quantifiable concept. And we're going to try to do the next best thing, which is to find a proxy. A proxy is a variable that can stand in for our omitted variable. And we are going to try using IQ as a proxy. Before we even run this regression, I want to acknowledge that IQ is a fairly controversial measure. IQ tests have been known to have racial biases and other biases, and even the existence of a single score to represent a person's intelligence is not agreed upon. However, all we need for this to be is correlated with ability and not have its own explanatory relationship with wage outside of how it explains ability. Even if IQ is not an accurate measurement of anything, it's probably still correlated with ability, and that is all we're looking for. For the second requirement, a person's boss has probably no idea about their employee's IQ score and is certainly not basing their wages off of that. And so let's go ahead and run this regression and see what happens. As we expected, the coefficient next to education has gone down. The reason for that is that we have removed a positive bias that was present because of ability. There's a couple other things I want to point out here. The first one of those is that the coefficient next to experience has basically remained unchanged. And that suggests that IQ is not correlated with experience. People with a high IQ and a lower IQ have about the same amount of years of experience, and so that does not affect that particular variable. And the final thing that I want to point out here is the coefficient that is next to IQ. We are never going to claim that this is 
anything approaching a causal relationship. A proxy stands in for an omitted variable for the purpose of removing bias from the variable that we do care about, which in this case is education. It is not the same as ability, and we are not making any claim of being able to estimate an actual relationship between ability and wage because we simply don't have ability, we have IQ instead. And that's how proxy variables differ from control variables. In our model, experience is a control variable. It is not standing in for anything else. Experience is the variable we were looking for. That's been a quick look at incorporating control variables like experience and proxy variables like IQ into a regression in order to remove bias and move ourselves towards a less biased regression model. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.